Hi LEGO fans, I hope you're wearing your sunglasses today because this is possibly the most colourful LEGO box I think I've ever seen. Today we're going to be unboxing, speed building and reviewing set number 31081, the modular skate house from LEGO Creator. This is a 3-in-1 set with 422 pieces and includes two minifigures. We've got a female skateboarder with a slice of pizza because life's too short to take lunch. And this very hip guy with awesome hair. They built their ultimate dream house with skate ramps, a rock climbing wall, a basketball hoop and somewhere to spray graffiti, and even a climbing frame. There's also a roof mounted camera so they can catch all their best moves and put them on YouTube. Inside the modular skate house there's a cool place to relax and enjoy a snack. There's also a small room on the second floor complete with flat screen TV. And when you get bored of the modular skate house you can build it into this games arcade complete with machines and a cafe. Or if neither of those appeal to you, you can just go all out and build a skate park. I can't wait to get this built so let's open up the box and see what we've got inside. Here's everything we get inside the box. We've got four bags of Lego, no numbers this time. A 16 by 8 grey base plate and a 187 page manual which is at least half an inch thick. I'm going to go ahead and put the modular skate house together and this is going to be a 25 second speed build. And here's the completed build. This took about 45 minutes to put together and there weren't many pieces left over. So that tells us this is probably the biggest of the three builds. And it is a pretty good size set. This thing stands about five inches high and is nine inches wide. It is modular so there are a number of square modules in the set which stack on top of one another. So to some degree you can take this apart and build something slightly different. The minifigures look pretty cool and we'll take a closer look at those later. So let's get in a little bit closer and take a look at the modular skate house. Starting with the outside of the house we've got this large skateboard ramp that extends from the roof terrace down to the ground level. Now physics is going to be a problem for our skateboarders because you'll notice the height of the ramp on both sides is different. So when they come off the roof level gathering loads of speed they're gonna hit the smaller ramp at the bottom and I don't know die or something this is definitely for decoration only and let's just give it a try yes it's not gonna work functionally but if you want to hold the skateboard and pretend to be skateboarding it's a fine thing We've got several of these curved tan pieces here which don't quite meet the base properly. You'll notice on this side it's nice and smooth and on this side we've got a lip but these are small details. At the top of the skateboard ramp we've got the roof terrace complete with basketball hoop and a place to spray graffiti. There are no stickers in this set so that graffiti you see on the wall is a very nice printed piece. We also have two cans of spray paint but I think we're missing a colour. The graffiti actually had some blue in there so we could always make one of those. Even though we've got a basketball hoop there's no actual basketball to play with. We've just got these orange round studs. Lego do make ball elements and they've made basketballs in the past so I wondered why they didn't include one here. I couldn't find one of my Lego basketballs but here's a soccer ball which is the same size and as you can see it wouldn't fit through the hoop anyway so I think they made the right call here with the orange studs. The wall panel with the basketball hoop is removable so you can place it elsewhere in the house. That's actually a really neat feature which means we can take out this window on the ground floor and replace it with the basketball hoop so we can play basketball outside. Also at the rooftop level we've got this outdoor faucet and drain which is a nice and thoughtful addition. At the front of the house we've got a yellow front door complete with doormat and lamp. We've also got some monkey bars which would be great for a bit of Lego parkour. And a rock climbing wall. I don't think Lego have heard of building code. The rock climbing wall extends all the way up the side of the modular skate house to the roof. The top part of the rock wall is a modular panel so you can remove this and put it elsewhere in the house if you wish to. I hope these guys have got a good home security system. Maybe they were thinking of home security because there is a shutter on this window on the ground floor. Moving up a level we have a more traditional opening window. These panels are removable which add to the modular capacity of the house. The same thing applies on the ground floor, if you want to take this panel out you can. I just hope the burglars don't find out about that. 
At the very top of the house is another terrace complete with some bars on the side which suggests some other parkour activities are happening here. We've also got a can of a popular beverage and a slice of pizza. Those quarter pizza pieces were new for 2017 and it's always good to get some in a Lego set. Also at roof level we've got this camera which is mounted on a ball joint so we can point it wherever we like. I think this is probably used to film radical skateboard stunts. Inside the house we've got two rooms, a larger one on the ground floor and a smaller one on the top floor. These were quite dark so I've removed some of the exterior panels to let some light inside. There's not a lot of furniture inside the house. We've got this random lever, maybe it's part of some game system control unit and there's what appears to be a lounge area complete with blue rug and what I think is a flat screen TV. This is one time where maybe a sticker would have been a good addition. In the upper room there's another level for relaxing complete with this very cool blue and yellow couch. There's also a printed poster featuring the Lego Creator Rocket Rally car. Yes once again Lego are promoting their own products within their own products. So if you see me reviewing the Lego Creator Rocket Rally car in the next few weeks you'll know why. Wrapping up this review of the Lego create a modular skate house, I'm going to show you just how modular this set is. And that is the fully disassembled modular skate house. So as you can see there are many options on how you can assemble this. The important thing to note is that the two other models, the skate park and the amusement arcade are both complete rebuilds. You can't make those by reassembling the modular elements of the skate house. I'm not going to build those models today, firstly because I don't want to spoil the build experience if you're going to go out and buy this set, and secondly I just don't have the time. But both the amusement arcade and the skate park look very good in their own right. So you're going to get plenty of play value out of this set. Here's our female skateboarding minifig, she comes complete with lime green skateboard and also, if I can find it, a safety helmet. Of course, because safety is our number one priority. She's a very nice minifigure and I think this is pretty generic. We've got these light blue pants on and then this nice printed top which is tucked into the pants. So uh, yeah, pretty generic face there, pretty generic hairstyle, but overall it's a nice thing. And here's the male minifigure who is equally qualified to be a skateboarder if you want him to be. Again, he's pretty generic with these dark blue non-printed pants on there. And then we've got this orange hoodie over either a white or might be grey light blue t-shirt, I'm not entirely sure. Um, very good but generic facial expression, but I really do like the hair, that's my favourite piece of this minifigure. Definitely spends a lot of time in the morning in front of the mirror. And that is our male minifigure. A lot of people like to ride stunt scooters at the skate park and LEGO has provided us one to play with. Now you might notice straight away this thing doesn't actually have wheels, although I think we could probably attach some wheels to it if we wanted to. We've actually just got these elements with the holes in which look the part but obviously that isn't going to roll anywhere. But this is all make believe anyway so it doesn't matter. Now the minifigure does sit quite nicely on there, obviously his legs are fixed so he can't reach the floor uh, but it's nice that he can stand on the scooter on the single stud there and still reach the handlebars for the scooter so it's not a bad little thing, it's definitely decorative rather than functional and that's the little scooter build. So that was set number 31081, the modular skate house from LEGO Creator 3 and 1. Overall I really like this set, it's imaginative, it's quirky and I think it would look great in anyone's LEGO City, even though it's not a LEGO City set. I hope you enjoyed this LEGO Creator 3 in 1 unboxing, speed build and review video. If you did, please don't forget to hit the like button, feel free to comment in the comment section below and if you've not already done so, subscribe for more awesome LEGO content. I release two new videos every week so you'll always find Find something new or something old to enjoy on my channel. Thanks for joining me today, stay safe and we'll see you on the next build video.